Alright, hey guys, how's it going? Perfect V2 Spicy here. Hope everyone's doing alright. Today, I'm gonna talk about Lei Wulong's top 10 moves. Um, Lei is definitely not one of the more beginner characters of this game. Uh, he's very tricky, a lot of moves, a lot of transitions. It's kind of difficult to understand both how to play and to fight against. But, uh, to help with that, I'm gonna break down some of his best moves into a uh, list of top 10 moves. Now, uh, unfortunately, I really don't see any moves in Lay's move that are Lay's list that are particularly horrible, which means that he has a lot of contenders for top ten. But I think I was able to squeeze it down to a couple moves that um, were very good um, that fit into a top ten list. Um, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Um, okay, so Lay's best move, with you know starting off with the best, is probably without a razor rush. Four neutral, one two, one two, one. 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two, and then uh, the last hit is a 4-3. Now, if you don't know Lei, uh, first hit, you press up or down goes a snake, second hit dragon, panther, tiger, and then the 4. Oh, uh, oops. Crane. Crane. So, um, every hit has a transition to a different stance. Um, the, only the last three hits are guaranteed with counter hit, I mean the last uh, two hits. Well, the second to last two hits. Uh, which means that you can get into a stance for free, as well as do 50 free damage. Um, 50 damage for free, and then go straight into a mix-up. Uh, which makes Lei very, very dangerous. You don't want to press buttons against Lei since you might get counter hit by Razor Rush, and then boom, free mix-up. Um, without counter hit, the first two hits are guaranteed, and these are less of his less dangerous dances, which is like Snake and Dragon, but nonetheless, Lei, El Creative Lei can make them very, very scary, such as, you know, go to Dragon, and go Play Dead, or, uh, fake the throw, they try to break it, then do 2 for the launch, or do 1, and then do a 1-2-1, one, one, and then go to forced Panther, mi Panther mix-up that you cannot get out of. Um, so that's pretty much uh, Razor Rush for you. It's also completely safe. You cannot step it as long as you uh, press all the buttons without delaying it. And this move is very delayable. So you can kind of like, you know, force them to get hit by it by delaying it. You know, bait them, bait them out. And in the end, it's, in itself, is a 50-50 mix-up. There is no way to really tell which way he's going to go. You can only tell, have an idea of where he's going to go based on how much health you have. Especially at the wall, since um, the last hit does wall splat naturally. So, most people are not gonna, you know, block low at the wall, unless they know this is coming. So they're probably just gonna, you know, stand up so you can hit them with that. Now, if this is on block, every transition is negative to the point where nothing will hit from it. As in, nothing is, um, safe. Every move you attempt can get snuffed by a crouch jab or anything, pretty much, because, um, you're not, um, advantageous. However, if it is on hit, you do get a free mix-up for most characters. There are a couple characters that, that can squeeze sneak in a down jab for whatever reason they can sneak it in there. Um, so you do have to be pretty careful about who you're fighting against and whether you can get a free mix-up from. But most people, as long as you've hit them, the mix-up is guaranteed. At least you have enough frames so that if they try anything, they'll get counter hit instead of you getting counter hit. Um, so Razor Rush in general is really, really good. Um, it does kind of have okay tracking, although, you know, it is possible to get this thing to go off axis, so be careful with that. Um, you know, so whatever. You don't even have to go through the whole thing to make the centering. I mean, get the counter hit to make this thing dangerous. Just going to Snake by itself is already really good, since Snake is probably one of his better stances. Um, not to say that any of his stances are bad, but they're saying that these are one of my favorite stances, and I love being in Snake, being close to it, because I can do like a 1-2-1, or I can do a 2-2, two -two, or I can poke them. And usually after you poke someone within a stance, they usually want a hop kick. Just saying, they usually want a hop kick because they think that, oh, you know, he poked me, he's definitely gonna try something now, now I can hop kick. Well, you can bait out the hop kick and then punish it, because you can block the Snake, etc. So that's Razor Rush for you, really, really good. Um, probably one of the oldest and one of the most staple, uh, lay moves. Uh, alright, so, aside from that, he's got his 4 neutral plus 4 series, so, 4 neutral 1, 2, 2, or 4 neutral 1, and then 4 to the tiger, or up into dragon, or down into dragon. Or keep going, 4, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2s, and then you do, uh, 4 into, um, dragon again, or you go all the way, 
four twos, and you go into Panther. Or you can go all the way, press four four at the end. And then you do his four four three, uh, four dash four dash three uh, attack, which is a delayed low. Um, and then even there's even more to this. You can do four dash four four two one and then three, which uh, is a plus move. You can't do anything about that. It's a high though, so you can't duck it. But after that, you put them into a four fifty fifty mix up, which is either down uh, down four. Or down, or or just four by itself. Uh, both of them do a lot of damage on you, and uh, they're relatively safe. Both of them are negative, but they're relatively safe. They're not like one punishable or anything like that. So what's it, what makes this move so good, other than having so many different transitions from it? Well, other than having so many transitions from it, which is really good, seeing that was a natural combo, I get a free tiger mix up. You can mix this up. Now a lot of people know that Tiger is a dangerous stance. They don't want to be near this because of Tiger 4. So you can go up instead and then do 4 to 1 plus 2 and you know, cause because 4 neutral 4 1 is already associated with Tiger, you can mix them up and do uh, Dragon instead. Which is very tricky. And considering that even if they block this anyways, 4 to 1 plus 2 is completely safe and gets into Tiger anyways. So you're all good to go. Um, in addition, uh, if you keep scaring them with this, this forces them to duck because they know that this is coming at like the fourth hit. So, you do the second, I mean the third two, and then you go into a dragon for another free mix up. In case, you know, for whatever reason they did duck, they get hit, and now they put, put into a dragon mix up. Or you go all the way, and because, you know, you deal with two. Problem here is that even on hit, this is negative, so as, as long as you hit them, you pretty much just don't want to do anything. You want to back off and just, you know, go blocking here. Because it's not plus, so no matter what you do, you'll get snuffed by anything. Um, in addition, this is this move could come from Dragon. So a Dragon, you can do four, uh, two, one, or one, two. Sorry. So you just keep doing this endlessly, 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 pretty much. And then you know, change it up to the two. So this this whole string is very, very tricky. Um, the one way to beat it is to just duck when you think that there's a 4 for 4 coming since the first hit is a high and there is a little bit of delay between the high and the second mid so there's a room to get a down jab in there or uh, a quick wall standing move like a wall standing 4. But it is, you know, something not easy to defend against which what makes it such a good move. Um, in addition, on counter hit, the, the 3 extension to the 4 to 4 one 2 is guaranteed. Boom. So that's free 71 damage. And this even wall splats, so if you go at the wall, you are mucho, mucho bueno. There you go, 121 damage for free. And he says Lay does low damage. Well, those are the tag villain, but you know what I mean. So the move itself is just very, very strong. A lot of transitions from it. A very good uh, poke tool. Has goes pretty far in, so you can use it to get in as well. A lot of different transitions, and it's completely safe. Um, although, if you are on block with a mix-up, outside of Dragon, where you just hold forward because there's an auto parry, um, you may just want to stop doing the stance because you're not plus. So it's the same kind of deal with Razor Rush. If you're blocked, um, you're not plus, so they can't hit you out of anything you try. So you can just you know calm down. Don't try anything there. Okay. He's also got. Uh, we're moving away from stance from transitions. We've got up four three. Now, up 4 3 is Lei's panic button move. Um, it doesn't really have any crush properties outside of crushing lows, but it is a launcher on counter hit. A really strong launcher. There you go, 109 damage. With the wall hit, that was like 108. So, very good. Um, it's only negative 3, which is one of the crazy things about this move is that if it's on block, all you gotta do is hold down back and you're safe, pretty much. Nothing, nothing to do about it. Um, crane also, and, and it leads into the crane stance, which has uh, mix up and stealth, so just four, and uh, which puts them in a position where they cannot tech roll. So you have a good Oki mix up, one plus two, which starts a combo, very strong combo with that. You have a four four again, which is a launcher in itself. You have one, which is safe, false flats, and if it's blocked and puts you in a uh, back turn. And you have two, which is pretty much useless. <laughs> and, but except for the fact that it's an elbow. But you have it there. 
Oh, and you have this right, the 3 4 2 1. Which, if they don't know about it, or if you delay it pro uh, properly, uh, they'll get countered and they will get launched. So, up for 3, um, it's 16 frames, which is pretty decently uh, fast. Not amazingly fast, but it's pretty decent. Um, it starts a launcher, it's safe, uh, has good tracking, and so, um, yeah, pretty much that for you. Uh, not much to say about it other than if you feel like you're getting pressured and you have a moment of opportunity or you feel like they're pressing buttons a lot, up 4 3 is a, is a good move to go because on, all it takes is a simple counter hit and you get a strong, like, class A launcher. Alright, so that's up for 3 for you. Um, also, if you want to be a little bit uh, tricky, you can go down into Snake, or you can go up into Panther. Which has an auto sidestep, of course, so, you know, if you sidestep into someone's weak side, which I believe Fang's weak side is his left side, you can get something like that. Uh, since you can go up back 3, and up 3, and up 4, 3, you can do up back 3 from a distance, and you can try to bait them, like, you know, to whiff punish you, when really all you're doing is safe, so their whiff punish might get blocked, and then, you know, you, you can get a free, uh, baited block punish. Alright, so that's that's up 4-3 for you. Really good move. Uh, staple move that I think you, all, all lay players should use. Um, next we've got Snake 1-2-1. One, 1-2-1 two, one. Uh, one, two, one is completely safe. Um, I do believe it's only like negative 7 or whatever. Uh, all guaranteed, and if you go hold forward, you do, you do go into Panther. Now, if it's on hit, you're on so much plus frames that this is a force mix-up. They can't sidestep, they can't uh, block. Well, they can block, but you know, it's about to guess. 50-50. They can't do a move. They could try a hop kick, I think, but I think they'll just get counter hit. I'm not exactly sure. So in general, if you can land the hit, you pretty much get a free mix-up. And if it's free, and you guess right, you could potentially get 60 points of damage since 1-2-1 one, already is 43. And then add that to 1-2, which is 34, you get, you know, a lot of damage. And if they ducked, and you did a launcher, you can get 43 damage plus a combo, so, you know, just more icing on the cake. A launcher, which by the way, is a uh, tag group. So, 1-2-1, one, one, very good move, completely safe. If they do block it, I wouldn't recommend going to Panther because you can't block a Panther. You do have to hold down back, unlike most most suits, where you can auto-block by holding back. So, if they do block it, I would recommend not going to Panther, just holding back. Um, but you, there's a little bit of a extension to this, which is one two one one, which um, if they they have like a move plan, like if they have a hot kick ready or they're you know ready to press a button as soon as uh, you finish, you can do one two one, which has far knockback and on hit it does a lot of damage. Try to show that. Yeah, thirty two right there, so really good. Uh, assuming that's a counter hit, anyways. So snake one two one, really good. Uh, tracking is uh, pretty decent on this as well. So. Yeah, 1-2-1. One, one. Uh, probably one of the best uh, stance pokes. If it hits, you're a uh, forced 50-50 mix-up. If it doesn't, you're safe and you can try again another day. Pretty much. Alright, um, next I'm gonna talk about a move that isn't necessarily a move, but really just mix-ups. Um, and I say, how is that a top 10 move? Well, it's because I consider every move from Panther a top 10 move. <laughs> I mean, t Tiger, that is. Tiger's stance is pretty much one of his best stances. Pretty much a hyper aggressive stance, it's very safe. Uh, every single move from the stance except for the 3 and the 4 are safe. So, no matter what you do from the stance, you're pretty much golden. Um, except for rare cases where uh, the 4 is blocked. I mean, not rare cases, but in case the 4 is blocked, that's pretty much the only thing you have to worry about. Everything else is pretty much safe except for 3. Now, Tiger is pretty much, you want to set up the low. Um, but since the low leads to a very strong combo, Uh, 70, if that, the wall wasn't there, that would have hit. 73, I think. Um, everybody's scared of the low because it's probably the fastest low launcher in the game. It's pretty much unseeable. I think it comes at 14 or 15 frames, one of the two. Um, so, pretty much, you have to guess. Pretty much. There's there's no, like, sure way to know. It's, you have to guess. So, there are, like, four mids from the stance to make them afraid of that low. There's one, which is plus. Puts a bit full crouch on hit as well. Uh, there's two, which is far range, does a hell of a ton of damage, has a delay in it. Um, it's uh, safe, puts the leg closer, does a lot of damage, a lot of plus frames. It's one plus two, 
which isn't really plus frames, but does a heck of a ton of damage and pushes them far back. Um, and he has three, which is super fast, and hopefully he's going to uh, Sitting Snake. It's super fast, and you can get a wall splash from this. Well, you don't need to show that, but also the one bounce, just in case you want to do this, for whatever reason. So, pretty much everything from Tiger is golden. Pretty much. Um, if you can be in this dance, this is amazing for you. Because if you can find the optimal range for 4, which is about here, um, you can sneak that in, pretty much. They won't. They don't know your optimal range, well you do, and you can uh, sneak that in, sneak that 4 in. This might win. Oh wow, what, what, it didn't. So Tiger just... Tiger stance in general is just an amazing stance, so pretty much Tiger stance. I kept Tiger stance as one of his top 10 moves. Alright, so other moves we've got is forward, for, forward, uh, forward 2 into reverse, uh, rig. This move, this move, forward into 2 one, one, two, one two, is not actually called reverse razor, but that's what I call it. Because, uh,. It's pretty much Razor Rush, but it's with the other hand, instead of starting with 1, starts with 2. It starts with 2 first, instead of 1 first. So, uh, forward 4 2 is completely safe. Um, both of the hits are this are safe, even though it looks punishable, like it's hella slow. The thing about this, though, is that forward 4 uh, it has a massive and long window of a high crush. It pretty much starts as soon as you press the button. Uh, forward 4 high crush is very consistently goes over everything, Jab included. So, um, you can use this when someone's using a lot of highs, like someone like Huarong, or uh, they're just stabbing you down like this. So that, and then it leads into the 2, which is safe as well. It's only unsafe if you go into like 3 at the end, which is 2-1-2, two, two, like that. Or you go in the mid, or whatever, but the mid is also safe, which goes into Crane. Although, really, the whole point of this move is just for a high crush that uh, is very consistent and has a, a retaliation built in at the same time. On counter hit, this is probably one of his strongest uh, launcher charges. Oops. Because the first hit is a crumple stun and not and doesn't launch them, you get a free extra hit for distance because that hit won't be counted towards moving your opponent farther. So in general, this move is amazing. It doesn't have that crazy tracking. Um. But in general, it's just really good. It does a heck of a ton of damage, and if it's counter hit, you just got crazy amounts of damage as well. Alright, so that's forward 4 for you. Very underused move in my opinion, but it's still really good. It is a bit slow though, so you have to do, do be aware when you're going to use it. You, may, you should use it preemptively rather than reaction. Unless you can see a really slow high move, uh, because... It is slow, and then some moves will catch you before you can even start the high crush of the move, even though the high crush of this move is very fast. Alright, uh, speaking of 4 4 2, we have Reverse, Ra Reverse Razor, which I talked about. Reverse Razor um, has a very far jab, like his 4 2 jab, so that could be used for wall carry or just poking him. Uh, on poke, it's on block, it has a guard break. Uh, um, guard break property. So instead of like doing a normal block stun, it does this weird block stun where he's like beats through the opponent's guard. Um, after the first two hits, the rest of them are parryable. So let me see, who do I have here? Uh, I don't really have someone who could show it effectively. So basically, after the first two hits, um, the rest of them you can parry them pretty much because there's a long delay. But after the first two hits, you're at least plus four, I think. Plus four at least, so you can get a free mix up here. You know, you can do like, um, a four, four. You throw. Um, oops. You do a uh, manual, par manual parry. I mean, manual stance transition. that. Um, and it's pretty much just very good in general. And for whatever reason, they don't parry it. Like, I don't know why they didn't parry it. But um, if they press buttons in any time during the thing, uh, the third hit will knock them down. I mean, the third hit, let me see actually. I remember actually. The third hit will launch them if they press buttons that's not a... Um, 
parry in it, or sidestep, force move, or anything like that. If they get counter hit in the middle of it, they get launched by the third hit. And by the fourth hit, they'll just get knocked back really far. And if they block all of it, you get into back turn, and you are plus frame, so you get a free mix up. So a reverse rager is definitely really, really good. Um, if it's if it's not the first hit that connects, the rest of them just become like a standard kind of razor rush kind of move. But that's pretty much it for you. All right. Um, all right. So now we're moving on to Lay's probably Lay's best with Punisher. No, without a doubt, it's what best with Punisher is Ford Four Three Reverse Lotus. Uh, Ford Four Three, really, really amazing range. Twenty damage launcher, taggable. So, Ford 443 has amazing tracking as well, uh, both to both sides of him. There are, for whatever reason, this tracks almost 180 degrees, it's almost a home move. Um, really good tracking on this move, really great hitbox, um, and leads into a lot Lay's stronger uh, combos. Oops. Something like that. 98 damage for 443. Uh, 443 is somewhat safe, and what I mean somewhat safe is that the move used to have knockback, but it no longer does. So 443, let's say, let me try this. Doesn't really have knockback. On on regular, it is negative 12. So nothing too amazing, not even negative 13. So at the best, you'll get a negative uh, 10 frame Punisher because some characters don't have 11 or 12 Punishers as they most characters will have a 10 frame punisher, a 13 frame punisher, a 14 frame punisher, and then their 15 frame punisher. Um, but some characters don't even have 11 or 12. Uh, if they have 11, it's usually just, you know, like standing for. So it's pretty safe, but it's still, you know, punishable. What you can make this safe is you can do back, which is what you're supposed to do for the standard combo, which is 4 4 3 back. What you could do is you do 4-3 back and then sway away, which is safer uh, against most retaliations. So there's not much uh, an opponent can do. It depends on the character though, because I do know that Bob can do one of his 4-hit strings and all connect, so it's very dangerous against- it's very risky against Bob. And you could even go riskier by just doing like a play dead here, or going to a down 1, or whatever, you know, whatever your heart's content. It just- it does have really amazing range though, because of support forward motion. I mean, it moves, it moves lay forward, has a big hitbox. It doesn't even look like the, the, the leg connects and it'll still hit. So, in general, it's just a really amazing move. It's, it's, it should be a staple of pretty much every lay out there. Um, so, 443 is really good. On knockdown, it does have like, um, which calls it on Oki, it does like pick them up for like a simple combo. Not as much damage as you could do, but um, it is something. Alright, so that's 4 4 3 for you. Pretty much Lay's go to with Punisher. Almost the only with Punisher you want to use, maybe outside of, outside of Razor Rush. Or for uh, neutral 4 1 2. Oops. And uh, last but not least is his low poke, which is down 4. Down 4, only 13 damage, but if you hold down, you do go into Snave, which, a little secret, it's not. Plus, but because it happens so fast, um, you're not you're not always gonna get punished for doing this, um, and it does lead to a free uh, snake mixer. Although nothing is guaranteed, so I think you should just block first, unless you're feeling ballsy and you just want to start attacking right away. Although just be careful, you might get counter hit. Uh, it also has the extension down four four, which is on counter hit. The both cards are guaranteed. Oops. Which is 39 damage, surprisingly, which is a lot of damage. Um, so, you know, if you're really efficient, like they feel like they're pressing a lot of buttons, down 4 4 is an easy way to get a free counter hit since it's very good at counter hitting because it reaches forward, it has really good range, even from all the way back here. And, you know, because that's such an easy move to counter hit, the 4 damage is easy to get. Um, at range, let's see, um, like, let's see a second. It's actually pretty unsafe. Uh, if I recall, this is almost. I think this might be a launch punish. Well, I'm not exactly sure, but I knew it's it's pretty bad. On block the second hit, not the first. The first hit is only negative uh, th eleven, I think. Um, it might be negative thirteen, but either way, it, it's not safe. 
But because the move is pretty far in itself and pretty quick, you're not gonna see this punished all the time. And, it, and if it's locked on bullet, I know it's like exactly negative 15. So it, it's pretty much safe, but you do know that, you know, it is uh, punishable. So just be careful about when you use it. Um, you can also go into uh, drunk by holding forward after the second hit, which is really good for like um, wall combos. Since uh, Drunken is really good at the wall in general. And then they get up, and then, you know, jump throw, whatever. Alright, uh, so... That was a mouthful, but I think that's Lay's top 10 moves. Um, so, 4-4-3, four, four, you know, Razor Rush, 4-4, uh, 4-0-1-2 four, 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 series, down 4, um... Oh, actually, I didn't talk about his down by 4-4. His sweep, which is kind of like a hell sweep, it's, it's very similar to Leo's hell sweep. Um, it's kind of like one of the weakest hell sweeps in the game, in my opinion. It only does like 28. But, at the same time, it's still really good. And, to make up for the fact that it's um, weak hell sweep, you can hold forward and you go into drunk, which you can get a combo from. Oh, I guess that's the other one. Huh. Oh, whatever. Anyways, um, so down by 4 4 is also really good. It's, if, as long as you press the second hit, it'll always trip them, but if you don't press the second hit, it'll just trip at range, it won't actually uh, knock them down at range. Alright, so that's pretty much what I can guess is a lot of Lay's top 10 moves, but you know, like I like to mention, that's not all of Lay's best moves. I mean, Lay has amazing set of moves. He has like Dragon 2. He has Dragon 1, Fake 1, Dragon Throw, he has, um, Down 3, he has his Play Dead moves, he has Back 4, he has Back Turn Down 1, he has, um, Up 3 plus 4, he has Up 4, 3 plus 4, Up forward. I mean Up forward. I'll, um, that's what he to, there you go, Up 4, 3 plus 4. Uh, so, and I mean, Lay is... And his only home move is oh, down 4, 3, 4, which is kind of slow, but it doesn't really matter if this Leia is really good tracking either way. Alright, Scott, so... I think that's about it. Um, Yeah, I, think, I guess that's about it. I can't think of anything else really crazy in the moment. Well, actually, he does have two moves which I didn't really talk about. He has sidestep 1 and sidestep 4. Sidestep 1 is a completely safe uh, free transition to either Dragon or Tiger. On counter hit, it knocks him down. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, actually, no. It knocks him down if they hold, uh, you know, back for the, you know, knockdown style. Uh, nothing's guaranteed here, even though it looks like, uh, you're very plus. Uh, it's- you are plus, but you're nothing is guaranteed, so... Uh, you still just have to force them with- eat them with a mix-up. You can go up into, uh, Dragon. Also down to Dragon, I believe. Or forward into Tiger. And it's a built-in sidestep, so this is a very good sidestep move to use uh, whenever you're sidestepping your opponent. He also has sidestep 4, which um, is a bit slow, but it's a completely safe taggable sidestep uh, launcher. So use that as you will, because this move is just, you know, a free sidestep hot kick built in. You don't have to do Lay's crappy, crappy hot kick, you just do this. And this is also safe. So... What have you? Alright guys, uh... Alright, now I believe that's it. Nothing else to cover. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this, uh, like, comment, uh, or subscribe, whatever. And I hope you guys have a nice day.